In today's Fishy Matters episode, we will discuss the diversity and distribution of our slimy friend, the fish. How diverse fish are? How many living species are there in the world? These are some of the questions that we will try to answer. Fishes are the most numerous and diverse group of vertebrates. They represent about 50% of the living vertebrates. Birds are 21%, reptiles are 14%, mammals are 11% and amphibians are 6% only of the total living vertebrates. As of today, there are 34,300 valid fish species, distributed in 62 orders and 515 families according to fish base. Of these species, 108 species are jawless, including 70 for hagfishes, and 38 for lampreys. There are 970 elasmobranchs, of which 403 are sharks, 534 are skates and rays, and 33 are chimeras. The rest and majority of the species are the teleosts, or the bony fishes. In the Philippines, there are 3,347 fish species. Of this number, 3,101 are marine species, and 346 are freshwater species. There are also 50 introduced species, and 120 endemic species in the country. When we say endemic, those are found only in a confined locality, region, or country. According to Carpenter and Springer, 2005, the Verde Island passage between Batangas and Mindoro is considered as the center of center of marine shore fish diversity. It is home to more than 2,000 shore fishes. Scientists estimated that there are about 40,000 fish species in unexplored areas, deep sea part of the ocean, and some are living in peat or bog which awaits to be discovered. Also, there are some fish specimens are still not formally been described. Where fish are found? Are they are found in all forms of water? These are some of the questions you might seek to know the answer. About 71% of the Earth's surface is water. Fishes are found in every continent of the Earth, and distributed in almost all aquatic habitats. They are found in Antarctic waters below 0 degrees Celsius, to hot springs of over 100 degrees Celsius. The Indo-West Pacific, extending from Western Pacific, Indian Ocean and the Red Sea, have the highest diversity for marine species. On the other hand, Southeast Asia, South America, and Africa have highest freshwater species diversity. Fish are also found in thermal and alkaline springs, hypersaline or high salinity lakes, sunless caves, anoxic swamps, temporary ponds, torrential rivers, wave-swept coasts, and high-altitude and high-latitude environments. There are some river loaches that inhabit Tibetan hot springs, at elevations of 5,200 meters. Pupfishes live in unheated waters of Lake Titicaca in northern South America, with an altitude of 3,812 meters. The deepest living fishes, the cusk eels, occur 8,000 meters below water surface. This figure shows the water area, and vertical extent of fish distribution in relation to maximum relief on surface of the Earth. This is adapted from Legal et al. 1977, which is older. The fish, or the man? We will answer that in the next part of this episode. Fish is believed to be older than man, by some 500 million years. It is evidenced through fossils found, comparison of the anatomy, embryology, and genetics of all animal groups. It is believed that without Piscean ancestry, man might never be evolved. Our characteristics that we inherited from our fishy ancestors include bilateral symmetry, sense of sight, internal fertilization, intrauterine nourishment including placenta and live birth. This table shows the proximate age of fish compared with other species, adapted from Legal et al. 1977. Fish emerged on Earth during the Paleozoic era, while humans existed only during the Cenozoic era. That's it. Thank you for watching. I am thankful that I shared some information about fishes to you. I hope to see you again in the next Fishy Matters episodes. Bye bye.